Rapper YNW Melly has spent the last three years of his life behind bars. And while it seemed like things were getting better for him, they took a turn for the worse. The rapper is yet again facing the death penalty. And this time around, the prosecution made sure to tick every box so that he won't be saved from it. Keep watching this video to see YNW Melly facing the death penalty again. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. YNW Melly Arrested In February 2019, Florida rapper YNW Melly was arrested and charged with two counts of first-degree murder. It was reported that Melly and another rapper, YNW Portland, killed two of their friends and made the crime scene look like a drive-by shooting. The victims are Anthony Williams, aka YNW Juvie, 21, and 19-year-old Christopher Thomas Jr., aka YNW Sack Chaser. They were both pursuing rap careers before Melly and Bortlin allegedly killed them. Now, after the tragic incident, Melly paid tribute to the two by tweeting, They took my brothers from me over jealousy. He said the pair's shooters want to see me break down and stop or in jail or in a box. A couple of months after their passing, Melly became a prime suspect in the investigations and he had to turn himself in. He was charged with two counts of first-degree murder, to which he pleaded not guilty. Three years down and Melly still maintains his plea of not guilty. However, the law seems to be catching up with him by the second, as he has recently been set to face the death penalty in Florida. YNW Melly's Death Penalty According to a judge in Florida, it has been ruled out that the prosecution can seek the death penalty against YNW Melly. The news broke media rounds, as it wasn't the first time Melly faced the death penalty. When he was arrested in 2019, the prosecutors initially sought that the death penalty is used against Melly. According to the prosecutors, they sought the death penalty because they had evidence that Melly's intentions and actions in the killings were done in a cold, calculated, and premeditated manner. However, in the first quarter of 2022, a judge ruled that Melly couldn't face the death penalty because state prosecutors hadn't properly notified him and his team. The judge who ruled in favor of the prosecution wrote, the state complied with its statutory obligations when it filed its notice of intent to seek the death penalty within 45 days of arraignment. He adds, In the present case, the defendant, YNW Melly, was clearly notified and apprised of the state seeking the death penalty in 2019. The defendant has had nearly three years to start the preparation of his defense to the state seeking the death penalty between the filing of the original notice and the superseding indictment. The record contains no evidence that the defendant was prejudiced in any way by the state, not filling a re-notice of its intent to seek the death penalty after the addition of the gang enhancement. The judge concluded by suggesting that the Florida Supreme Court should rule on Melly's case and the applicability of the death penalty. One of Melly's lawyers spoke on the situation as he said, while we're disappointed in the ruling, as you are aware, the appellate court certified a question of great public importance to the Florida Supreme Court regarding our position that the death penalty should not apply in this case. We look forward to our opportunity to argue our position before the justices. YNW Melly has pleaded not guilty to the charges. His trial has been delayed several times and was most recently set to begin in July before being pushed back to determine the death penalty question. Evidence Against YNW Melly With all the heat on Melly's case, fans are itching to know what evidence the prosecution has built against Melly that would warrant the death penalty. However, from the situation of things at the moment, the prosecution has a table full of evidence against the defense. In October 2021, the prosecution asked a Broward County judge to have YNW Melly submit an oral swab so they could determine if his saliva was a match to the DNA found on a yellow jacket from the crime scene. But according to reports, the prosecutors submitted a 66-page report on DNA evidence after getting the results. The state of Florida has now submitted supplementary discovery, which means they have now basically sent to YNW Melly's lawyers, hey, these are additional evidence that we didn't send y'all before, DJ Academics revealed in one of his videos. By the time you get to trial, as a prosecutor, you gotta send the defendant everything you're going to use against them in court so they can prepare a legal defense. Now, what the state attorney just provided to YNW Melly's defense team is a whole lot of pages on DNA. 
Aside from the DNA results, the state has cell phone records tracing Melly's location during the time the murders took place. There is a large amount of forensic evidence linking Melly to the crime, enough that the state plans to use experts in crime scene reconstruction, footwear impressions, and more as witnesses. They also want to drive the jury along the actual path they claim Melly and Bortlin took. The ballistics of the shooting shows that all of the shots came from Melly's position in the car. They have surveillance footage basically showing Melly get into that car in that same position. They also have the ballistics from the drive-by. But that wasn't all. They also discovered used shells underneath the floorboard in the position where Melly was sitting. He is described as a heartless, ruthless individual, and prosecutors are seeking the death penalty. During an interview with DJ Academics, his manager revealed that the documents and the 66 pages of DNA reports were nothing to worry about. The state has access to much of Melly's social media and may point to several Instagram messages from the day of the murders as incriminating. In particular, one Instagram exchange took place hours after the killings, as obtained via a public records request. In the Instagram chats, Melly's account says, I did that, in one message, followed two minutes later by shh. There is no definitive proof in the rest of the exchange that the DMs are referred to Juvie and Sack Chaser's murders. However, the state will likely use the timing and content to make the case that those messages amount to an admission by Melly of his guilt. YNW Melly's life in prison. After three years of being locked up behind bars, it was no surprise to his fans when news of Melly's prison break hit the media. The Florida Sheriff's Office reported that Melly tried to break out of the prison. While referring to Melly as Jamel Demons, the prosecutors said, On April 11, 2022, Broward Sheriff's Office received a confidential tip regarding inmates Nicholas Lewis and Jamel Demons, both housed in the same unit at the main jail, planning an escape from jail by having Demons' attorney bring in two handcuff keys to aid in the escape. Additional information provided by the source was that Lewis had a shank and drugs. Melly was accused of teaming up with one of his lawyers to break out. The prison authorities also received a tip informing them that a certain Nicholas Lewis, also an inmate, had a makeshift shank. So without wasting time, they searched Nicholas's cell and discovered a six-inch shank, two razor blades, two lighters, and rolling papers. Nicholas was also found with some drugs, including Seracel and Clonopin pills, for which he had no prescription. The prison informant also told the authorities Nicholas was working with Melly, whose cell was next to him. The confidential source gave us two pieces of information. One of them, about the shank and drugs, turned out to be 100% true, explained Christian Subanos, Assistant General Counsel for the Broward Sheriff's Office in court. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.